Iran may be in the midst of an official 10 days of celebration to mark the 36th anniversary of the Islamic Revolution. But for most of the population, the founding of an Islamic utopia has lost out to the attractions of a modern lifestyle. The country has no nightclubs, and alcohol is banned in public. But for Tehran's young people, there is an outlet. At the weekend, they had to resorts in the mountains where less restrictions apply. Or they hold private parties at their homes where they can dance to loud music long into the night and drink freely. Sociologists say that since the Islamic Revolution, there has been another revolution, but this time in lifestyle. More than half of the country's 78 million population was born after 1979, and few of today's youth identify with the ideals that fueled the revolution. They want to live like people in the rest of the world, and they want religion to be personal rather than at the forefront of public life. For many of today's Iranians, what matters is a good job, the latest mobile phone, the latest fashions, a modern apartment, and a nice car. People would also like to travel abroad, in particular to the neighboring countries of Turkey and Dubai, and they don't like that Iran is viewed as a state sponsor of terrorism. Such desires start from early ages. Many teenagers are already dreaming of education abroad and well-paid jobs. So is Yalda, a 14-year-old student. من دلم خواهد تجربه تحصیل خارج از ایران داشته باشم دلم میخواد تحصیلات عالیه داشته باشم دلم میخواد تو بهتری داشته تحصیل بکنم که بتونم بعدش پول در بیارم و بتونم یه زندگی خوب برای خودم داشته بکنم Thanks to the internet, satellite television, and close ties with the large expatriate Iranian communities in the U.S. and Europe, the people are well aware of the world outside their borders, and state restrictions are constantly being challenged. Women have been the main driving force behind the change in attitude, and they are set to keep on challenging the restrictions put on them, such as being forced to cover up in public and not being allowed to sing solo in public. Today's Iran looks and feels completely different to 30 years ago when the people march in the streets for one of the biggest revolutions of the 20th century. The children of those revolutionaries want to live in a modern country that is respected and liked by the rest of the world. Najmeh Bozorgmer, Financial Times, Tehran.